Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to my playthrough of Dredge. This is part nine, and in this video, we are going to finish up our work here at the Devil's Spine. Uh, and then we're going to go around the map and gotta catch them all, catch the five fish that we haven't caught yet. At least um, the non-aberration versions, because there's like 48 aberrations we haven't caught yet. But I don't got time for that, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, let's see, what should we do other than that? Oh yeah, we might also go around the map and try to find the last side quest, which I think is probably a fifth uh, hooded figure. Um, but I don't know, we're, there's just one in between here that we haven't done yet. And then uh, we'll do that before initiating what I assume will be the end game. Okay, um... Oh yeah, let's sell these, I guess. I think I did this at the end of the last video, but um, the way that the saves, the auto saves work in this game, I think it, yeah, it didn't save it. So then we gotta add the, uh, here we go. There we go, so I'm gonna, I need two scraps and one wood. And we'll be good. Can I sell? The, the cloth, or do you? Because I don't, I literally don't need it. Yeah, you can sell it for like $11, nice. Okay, so we're gonna get the, the other um, flames or whatever over here. I'm just gonna leave these crab pots for now. And uh, let's see, I guess we'll go, you know, we could go behind here. Find out what fish we need to sacrifice. Oh, there's the big guy. Okay, that's a shame that he's a... Well, you know what? Since he's over here... Oh, it's an aberration. Okay. I think I need to find one of these uh, pale skates first. Yeah, I think I did. Um, and I think it's, let's see, do I have an explosive? No. Oh, no, no, no. Let me get to the volcano over here. Uh, I think it's for this one right over here, so. Let's see if we can get to it. Okay, it's back in here. Oh. How do you get back there? Oh, do you have to explode it? Okay, well, you know what we could do? Yeah, there's these things, but... Okay, we've, uh, we've done it. Two malformed fish. Oh! Writhing under the sun. So we gotta find two aberrations. Right? That we caught, that we catch during the daytime? Is that it? Oh. oh okay. Let's uh, go back here. Oh, this is it. I think this is the... Go back here. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right, leave. Now, I think if we go over this way, we can get uh, these last two fish sorted and get um, one of the flames. Is it this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now get in here. Yeah, this is it. Oh, I'm so good. There we go. The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core. Um, let's just put these into storage. Meanwhile, I'll take this. Okay, so we've got the two flames. Um, now we just gotta, well, now it's nighttime. So we gotta wait until the daytime when we can catch more malformed uh, fish or whatever. Oh my gosh. 
aberrant fish is really what we're looking for. Um, so yeah, I guess... You know, I'll just go around this way. Now, we are looking for some more, like, scrap and stuff like that. Oh, my God. Stay away from those guys. Yeah, some more raw materials we need to get. Where am I right now? Oh, my gosh. I'm all the way over here. Go, 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 go. And... We might sleep until daytime. Who knows? Let's sell these fish. And... Yeah, should we rest? Let's rest. Okay. You know what? I'll get these crab pots uh, looked at, too. Take all, and pick up, and we'll sell the crabs, we'll get the power repaired, we'll put it back out, uh, sell the fish, can you repair this, or, no, let's see, repair, thank you. Okay, that's it. I wish that there was like a way to like, take all would like include the crab pot, but I understand why it doesn't, right? If you just want to leave the crab pot out to keep doing its thing. You know, I really like this game, but I do think that like, after a while, it does get a little, like there's some things that, just little tiny things that they could tweak. I think that would maybe help. I don't know. Maybe help uh, make them a little, uh, like quality of life issues. So I'm trying to talk while I'm also trying to do something else. I'm just not good at it. Oh, an ossified cereal bin. Oh, okay. Well, I caught this during the day. So that's another aberration. So we can take this and put it up. All right. Yeah, I also, well, I'm gonna wait until like, we're done with the game, but I also think the fishing could be more challenging. So we can get away with this. I just want to get some scrap because I knew we needed some. Okay. Uh, let's get to it. No, fuck off. Okay. There we go. The rock splits with an almighty crack, crumbles away, revealing its core. Also, what is this? The encrusted talisman. A stone tablet surrounded by tooth and bone. A glyph of a hook is carved into the center. Oh, install. What? Wait, I can install it here. What does it do? Whoa, fishing speed plus 375%. Aberration bonus plus three percent. You get an aberration bonus? Are you kidding me? Okay, uh well we have We gotta light the statues. Um no lighting the statues. is done out here, isn't it? All right, let's go do that, I guess.
Now that's, yeah, that's cloth, and that's what we don't need. Okay. So now we light the statues. Left. There we go. A cold flame roars in the statue's hands. Let's do the right statue. We don't do them in any kind of order, I assume. Preparations are complete. The fanatic awaits. All right. What is it? Um, the flames are lit. Ah, I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Cracked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He pulls an antique pocket wash from inside his robe. Droplets of sea spray crackle and seethe in the air around it. You are drawn to it too, I see. It found me during my rite of proving as I scavenged for creatures of power. It sapped at my spirit when I first recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. What are you doing? He ignores you. The wind picks up, swirling sea spray around the altar. A cold blue flame rises from the sodden wood at his feet. Stop this! His chanting grows louder. The freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues, no pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arms skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. A cold mist pools around the floor of the temple, briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. So he's self-immolated, sort of. Oh, here's the relic. The clock face swims underneath cracked glass, hands spinning erratically. You take the pocket watch. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm, clock hands spinning wildly below the cracked face. Wow. Damn, dude. There we go. Um, so, looks like we're done with all our pursuits. Now we can just, you know, go around and, and do whatever. Uh, yeah, you know what? There's an aberration here. Might as well go for it. Okay, okay. I'm good. Sorry. Oh, look, we found an aberration. Of course, we already had we already found this aberration Kind of wish we had Ooh, a trophy Kind of wish we had found another one Also interestingly um, The uh, the threats are still here I mean I guess it makes sense, right? Because, um, like in the Gale Cliffs, the serpent's still there, right, at the end? Let's put this in storage. Yeah. And this, too. But I guess, I guess I was spoiled in the grove. Because I was like, oh, we got rid of the thing. We killed the monster. We just need one scrap and one wood. Here, let's go ahead and just fall asleep. We're gonna start trawling for uh, for fish, don't you worry. I'm really excited actually about just going to the open ocean and trawling for fish. That's gonna be so fun. I'm good with that. Uh, let's see, you know what I might do? I might stream at some point. I might stream getting all the aberrations in Dredge. Oh, that could be fun. But with, with how I'm like recording these ahead of time, I'm gonna have to wait. He's not headed this way, is he? I'm so annoyed because like there's scrap right here. Go this one. Mm 
Okay, I just need to find wood. Which actually, I know exactly where to go for that. Check this out. Uh, okay. Oh, nope. Now we're... I also want to see if maybe... Because every time I get a relic, the lighthouse keeper talks to me. So I'm wondering if now I can go to the lighthouse keeper and maybe talk to them for a moment or two. Here we go. There's always wood here. And this is what we need. We just need one more piece of wood and we've got a fully upgraded boat. Nice. We got it. Are you going to upload the stream to YouTube? Ah, uh, yes. God. God forbid you go to another website. It's okay, I'm over it. I tried to get you guys to go to Twitch for like seven straight years, and you guys were like, nope, won't do it. Like putting a, putting a bratty child to bed. Uh-uh. I'm going to hold my breath. <gasps> That's you guys. I'm going to hold my breath. You can't make me do it. I don't want to do it. And we did it. There's no achievement for that? Are you serious? No achievement? I'm shocked, honestly. Completely shocked. What the hell? All right, well, um... Oof, that's annoying. Okay, let me see, where do you think where do you think this last pursuit is? Is there somebody that like I haven't? Oh, you know what I should do? I should trawl. Yeah, let's see if I can get my trawling on. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. We want this. Do we have a heavy duty troll net? We do, don't we? You know what we need, okay? Let's uninstall this. Put it over here. It's gonna take some time. Okay, I'm gonna put this rod into storage. I know, right? But I just feel like most of the stuff I need to get is oceanic. Okay, so, and then here, we'll get the heavy duty trawl out. Yeah. And install it. I really wish that you could like get everything. Maybe there's a way to do it. I'm just not seeing it yet. I don't know. Let's repair everything. Okay. And yeah, we'll just have it out, I guess. Um, I assume you can't have you can't have two nets. Yeah, just one. And that's totally cool. Let me see if I can... Okay, I don't have anything like that. I was going to say, do I have a... Uh... Uh, another engine. But no, I don't. I'm going to wait until I get the ones... Um... Oh my god, I can't fish here. This is... I'm like so annoyed. Okay. There we go. We can also check our crab pot over here. Look how fast I am. It's insane. Oh my god. None of them are aberrations either. Holy hell. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll go. I'll go get that in a second. Okay. I'll go sell those and get it repaired and all that crap. Uh, yeah, let's take it to the trader. You explained to the trader that you found a use for the fused tablet at the ancient lighthouse in Devil's Spine. Mm. It opened a door in that ruined lighthouse. Mm, yes, that makes sense. Well, I hope you find some interesting items for me to look at. Wow, he really just does not give a fuck, huh? Okay, sell, 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 sell. Uh, and you won't buy these, right? The refined metal, because... You know what, I really want to find... The other scrap of paper. I found this one near the Stellar Basin. I'm very curious. About it. Like. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, you want to buy all these? Holy hell. Let's go to the shipwright. Um, real quick, like, oh wait, you don't sell, you sell nets, but not crab pots? Oh, the other guy, the other guy does it. Uh, the fishmonger, okay. Cause I'm kind of thinking we just get like a reinforced crab pot. Cause I've got tons of money and it doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, crab pot. You know what? I'll put the crab pot actually out here. There we go. Uh, cause then like if I get the crab or whatever, then I wish it would tell me what I got. Like just a cod. Oh, okay. All right, we gotta go into the open ocean now. It's uh, it's our big. Our big dream. Check how fast we go. Boom, yeah! Okay, so now this, these islands back here. Oh, what's this? Wait, did I, did I interact with this before? SOS. Oh my God, I think I found the last quest. I had no idea. That's so funny. I was like, okay guys, let's look for the last quest. And then we find it right away. But I went over here, I did not see this guy. I'm saved, I'm saved. Oh, you are a sight for these sore eyes. What happened? I washed up here. Oh, it must've been some two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas when a wave hit us broadside and I was jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have come to find me by now, but yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? No. Oh, well, I'm sure they're out there looking anyways. Can you get me to Little Marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them there when they next stop by. Sure. I, I literally don't have anything on my boat right now. The castaway climbs aboard. Now, are you going to give me a boat by any chance? A boat? A book? I already got a boat. I got an awesome boat, actually. Look, I'm just trawling. <laughs> I don't know why I like that. I think it's because it sounds like trolling. I'm trolling. Oh. The sweet, rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you. For someone who's just been saved, he seems gloomy. I've not got much on me, as you can imagine. And I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore. For me, at least. But perhaps it'll be worth something for you. He removes a signet ring from his left hand, presses it into yours. It's emblazoned with a symbol of a captain's wheel. A ship's wheel sigil is emblazoned proudly on this ring. Such a symbol is sure to bring good luck to any captain that wears it. Uh, I think that's been proven wrong. On to better horizons, friend. Farewell. Yeah, I got an achievement. Complete all side quests. Okay, so sell this trinket. You know, does the, uh, wh where did the dock worker, there he is, look at him. Icarus flew too close to the sun. The dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by fear of what he sees. What's wrong? He stares ahead in silence. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally, a tremor shakes his body and his breathing becomes labored. He strains, clenching his fists, eyes shut tight with the effort. A tear rolls down his cheek. His body relaxes suddenly and his eyes snap open again. They are cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. What was that? A trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. Wow. That sucks. Okay, uh... Well... Let's go into the open ocean, y'all. And, uh, you know, now that I've done 
all side quests. Oh, oops. That's not what I wanted. All side quests. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sail around for a bit. We might talk to the lighthouse keeper as well. If I see any like aberrations, I'll try to stop by, but I might not have the fishing equipment for it. Which is kind of crazy to think about. We have um I mean we have abyssal, hadal, and oceanic capabilities. We don't have shallow or coastal. <gasps> Scarlet Prawn! Yes! We did it! We caught it! Bunch of anchovies. Pfft. Actually, I've got a question. Let me look at the encyclopedia. Let's check open open ocean. I already got it. Okay. So there's a couple open ocean fish I haven't caught. Oceanic and Hadal, so we can catch them. So we just gotta look out for these. Okay. I'm just kind of going to look around for these things. Coastal. Oh, anchovy king. Like a rat king. Rat king? Okay. So we caught a new aberration. Let's just go out into the open sea up here. This is like the biggest body of water over here, completely undisturbed. I'm thinking this will probably be it, you know? That's coastal still? No, coastal. Oh look, a blue whale. I'm not gonna stop for it this time. We're on a mission. Lockjaw. Loose jaw, rather. Not lockjaw. Hmm. Do any of these only appear at night, I wonder? That's a good question, actually. Uh, no. Let's see. Oh, that, that fish on the left is only at night. Open ocean rod. The other ones are available at night as well. Hmm. Let's see. Let's just go to the west. See what happens. I think I've got my light about as bright as it can get. We might stop by the fortress actually, get some some rest. I don't want to lose my sanity here. Oh. Dickhead. Okay. How you doing? You doing okay? I want to make sure. Uh, yeah, let me go sell these real quick. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Because, like, you don't have to sell to get credit for catching the aberration. Oh, another thing I want to do in this video, I want to uh, see if I can go off the side of the map. I feel like that would be fun. Is it just like a waterfall or something? That actually might be a good place to do open ocean, actually. Let's see. Oh, look at all these, man. I got some Aurora jellyfish in here. Let's go. Uh, and let's get that. Is there anything that I can do? I've got $2,700. I kind of wish these are both shallow. There was a way to get like coastal fish.
Hang on. This might be it. Because I don't need shallow. Okay, I can get... Co I can fish for coastal. I can fish for oceanic Hadal and Abyssal. This is the way to go. This is it. That's it. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. We got it. We got it. All right. Nautical engineering. Reading complete. Equipment types that use durability will lose it 15% slower. That's really good. Okay. You know what? Here we go. We're going off the edge of the world. Nope. Going straight. Let's see what happens. It's gonna go in one direction. So there's actually... There's actually no fish out here. Interestingly. Why are there no fish out here? I'm not even picking up any in my net. We're getting kind of close. Oh my god. No! I did it for too long. Oh my god, we're so slow now. Oh no, I did it for too long. You should be able to like buy repair kits so you can repair on the go. Oh, this is painful. This is like as slow as we were in the beginning. I mean, does it end? There's no big like waterfall or anything. Entering uncharted waters, turn back. Wait. Does it just like flip you around? It doesn't, because a lot of times when you go like, quote, out of bounds in video games, they turn you around. I'm going past it. You can go past it? Is there some, like, Pony Island shit happening over here? I really wish I could go faster. This is it? Do you just... like Godzilla! Oh! <laughs> Fair enough. You warned me. You warned me. Yeah. I get it. Okay, got a latching snapper. Are there like uh, snappers that... Oh, I still need to get some crab pots in the stellar basin as well. Oops. Yeah, I might as well go down there then. Um, no, I've caught all the red snapper aberrations. Nice. I don't have Fangtooth or Barrel Eye Aberrations, though. Something to think about and keep in mind. Anglerfish way out here. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, let's go north, actually. Hammerhead. I caught the hammerhead aberration too, so we're all good there. Okay, I think we're in the stellar basin area and we need to get out of there. We need to get out, back out into the open ocean. Ooh, here we go. Possible aberration for Bang Tooth or whatever. Cursed Fang Tooth. A small and feeble mind, easily conquered, now brought screaming from the depths. It lies powerless. Damn. They're so like. They talk so much shit. Frankly. What is what a tiny little brain this thing has. Tiny little tiny little goofy brain. This thing sure looks scary. Too bad it's dumb. Who writes this stuff? Okay. And uh yeah, we're still in like open ocean. As far as I know. <sighs> should I like... Should I like talk about something? Oh yeah, I, I got stuff out of there, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I definitely did. Okay. Hmm. Should go down by the Gale Cliffs, actually, because I got to do some crab pots down there. I'll pick, tell you what, I'll pick up the crab pots over here by Devil's Spine. Well, over here, way over there by Devil's Spine. And uh, and then we'll go to Gale Cliffs and get uh, the crab pots going there. Stupid squid, dude. Wish I could see better at night. Ah, oh, more of these arrow squid. We're doing pretty well on sanity, considering how how bright our light is and stuff. I think. Damn. All right, well, spoke too soon. Okay, is this more squid? Oh my gosh. I wonder if I could use the bait. That might be the way to go. I don't know. Oh, aberration stuff over here. Oh, it's volcanic. I can't do it. Ah! Wow. Oh, this is volcanic right here. Damn. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Holy hell. Leave me alone, man. Jeez. All right. Yeah, let's pick these up. Okay. Take those and pick it up. I always worry that like this part of the video is like, or this part of the series, I should say, is kind of like, kind of boring. 
Ooh, we got an aberration. A sable reacher. Wings of muscle spin their webs between inky black legs. A gloomy core grows in the deep. Very cool, dude. I'm going to take this now. Uh, yeah, just like me going around being like, let's collect things. Mm. You know what? You guys don't want to collect things? You don't like collecting stuff? Why not? Collecting is fun. What's the quickest way to the Gale Cliffs? It's probably to manifest back. Let's check the crab pot over here. Oh, it's actually this way. We, we need to talk to the lighthouse keeper too. I think. Maybe we don't have to, but... Bruh. Oh wait, you can take... Oh, you can just pick up and it takes all of it? I should have been doing that this whole time. I think they catch more stuff uh, here. Oops. Um. I can I can find out actually right now. Let's see. Crab. Which one am I trying to get? An aberration of this. So the depth is zero to 10 meters. Okay. So wherever I put it is fine. All right. Um, let's go to the Gale Cliffs now. We're gonna be trawling. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. No, go back. Yeah, sorry about that. I meant to uh, use haste. Oops. Okay. Let's go back. I might get a couple of those explosive things. I mean... It's whatever, right? Oh, shallows. Oh, this is where that hooded figure was. I think one thing that I've kind of embraced about this channel is like, <gasps> oh, it's a sailfish. Oh, okay. I thought it was like that one fish that I'm missing. I think one thing that I've kind of embraced about this channel is just like, I've caught all three variations of that, so. Um, that I'm not really gonna put that much work into it. <laughs> Cause it always used to frustrate me that I would like sit there and I'd like, painstakingly edit the gaming videos to like not waste anyone's time oh and like uh oh no you know like be exciting and really highlight everything and it used to frustrate me that people would just be like, like the number one piece of feedback I got that was just like, these videos are fun to fall asleep to. And I'd be like, why am I editing these videos then if you guys are just falling asleep to them? If you're just like, that's nice. Like, why am I sitting there and being like, at minute one, at minute 57, I say this word a little too quickly. And then I, I say, uh, so I'm gonna cut out the uh. Like, why am I doing all that if people are just gonna be like, it was fun cl vacuuming in the well with this in the background. But now it's like now now I'm just like well if you want to do something while I'm on the background with this I don't care because I just put it up. You know it's not a big deal. But it was hard before with the gaming videos because it just felt like felt like I was wasting. I was like trying so hard not to waste anyone's time that I was like wasting a lot of mine. On like 
shit that doesn't matter. And considering like the number one piece of feedback on this channel is just like, I love that there's no edits at all. I'm just like, man, I really, I really wasted a really long time on the gaming content on the main, quote, main channel, trying to, what is this? Oh, I just forgot what the black sea bass looked like, apparently. Trying to, trying to make the content like, I don't know, not work, but I guess try to make it more like high quality when I shouldn't have been worried about that. Just goes to show that even when you do this for like 15 years, you still learn stuff. Still some hard lessons to learn. Well, one thing that I've had a tough time coming to terms with is that uh, some of the toughest lessons to learn are the ones that you won't let yourself learn. It's not that they're like, it's not that the knowledge is difficult to come by. It's just the fact that you get in your own way about it. Okay, I'm going back. I'm going back. Wait, where am I? Oh my gosh, it's this way. I know a lot of people like that in the content creation space. Like a lot. That they just, they can't get out of their own way. They think they they think they know everything, but they don't, and they just kind of I don't know. They're just like, well, this is the way that it has to be, and this is the way I have to do it, and you know, I think I think a lot of especially old school content creators like me got kind of scarred by YouTube um, in the early 2010s because it really was like 1984 out there early YouTube really was like oh you want to have fun too bad you gotta upload the same thing over and over and over again and if you don't then people are gonna people oh their 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 mouse it's hovering over the X right now you better do something do something interesting entertain them somehow it really did used to be like that and I think it's a less a lot less like that now I think uh, Ah, we could try for a Sturgeon Aberration. Like, things are a lot more relaxed. In some ways. In others, not so much. But a lot of people are really stuck in that. Just like, I gotta do things a really specific way. Including me for a long time, because... It, like, the ramifications used to be so much worse. 10 years ago doing this. It was the kind of thing where like one day you could be averaging like 100,000 views yeah. per video and then the next you could be averaging like, well not the next, it's, it didn't happen that quickly, but like a few weeks later you could be averaging 50,000 and then a few weeks later you could be averaging 20,000 and then a few weeks later, before you know it, you're averaging 10,000 you're like, what happened to 90,000 people that used to watch me? Ooh, decorator crab. Thank you. Getting some of those crab. Ooh, and the rock crab. We got them. Rock lobster. What about those? What about the rock lobsters? Is this the best I can be doing? I think so. I can get another engine. Let's see. So yeah, you know, old habits, old habits die hard for sure. With that. And it's like, can you blame them though? Because for, for a lot of people, um, oh, oops. They're defending their livelihood, you know? They're afraid to take risks or do anything differently because, well, they've seen what happens when you fuck up. I didn't get the engine stack, did I? Oh, no, I did get the engine stack. Oh. If we get 
Dude, if we get one more research part. You don't have any more. Maybe tomorrow or something. If I get one more, I can get I can get our engines really humming. Um, I'm wondering if I'm getting out into the open ocean or not. It it feels it feels like maybe I'm not. I'm gonna get way out here and see if it changes anything. Those are worth a lot, but we don't really need. Let's see. Yeah, this is definitely open ocean right here. There's two fish that I'm that are just like evading my grasp. And they're open ocean fish. I just haven't. Oh no, this is a sunfish. Well, okay. But there's one that's like that, though, that I need to catch. Hmm. I wish I could see fishing spots better at night. So yeah, on one hand, I'm like, I get really annoyed at, uh, I'll be honest, a lot of content creators though, don't know what the hell they're talking about. Now there's still, I mean, I'm not perfect. There's still some things that I'm learning that I could, I could definitely be better about uh, when it comes to this stuff and old habits that I'm kind of clinging to that I don't need to keep clinging to. Oh! <gasps> We caught it! It's a rat tail. Aberration? Damn. But a lot of content creators, like, they really, really don't know what they're talking about. And those are some of the loudest personalities and voices out there. Like, a lot of, like, the... The streamer coaches out there r routinely post takes that I'm like, that's not true at all. In fact, the streaming community at large, sh what I like to call streamer Twitter, is wrong about so many things. Oh, damn. Is it an aberration? Oh, weird. 483. Yeah, let's go. It kind of makes me, especially like these people that want you to pay them for their streaming advice and stuff. Kind of makes me want to put out like a streaming or uh, you know YouTube video content series out just for free, and and just be like, guess what? You don't have to pay me for it. Here it is. It's free. Because I've always been terrible about monetizing things properly. Like, if if I wanted to, I could have pushed the monetization things way harder than I than I ended up doing. You know, like, I... It annoys me sometimes when, like, people complain about sponsorships, because I take, like, two sponsorships a year. And these days, it's only... The, the, the stuff that you see on my channel that are, that are, like, sponsored segments, while rare, they are, like, stuff that I'm, like, genuinely interested in. I say, I say no to, like, nine sponsorships out of ten that I get offered. Actually, I don't respond to like 98 out of 100 of them. And then the final, you know, two or so, I'll say no to one and yes. Yeah. That's kind of more of the ratio. But I, if I wanted to, I could be, I could be banging out sponsorship after sponsorship after sponsorship, but I don't. And so, cause I, cause I'm like, oh, I don't believe in that product or I don't use that product or I don't like that product. You know, I'm not just going to do anything. Um, so yeah, I'm, I've always been really bad at monetizing things, so might as well continue to be bad at it. And, um, what's this? That thing, like, came out up out of the water, I thought. Might as well continue to be bad at it. And, uh, just offer up advice for free. 
Because, like, frankly, a lot of this stuff, it's not rocket science. Especially now that they've tailored algorithms and stuff and fine-tuned fine -tuned them really well. If you're, like, speaking passionately about something and making a quality product, as long as you have charisma and aren't just, like, a big wet blanket and you treat uh, the audience with respect and, like, don't waste their time with the videos, then, uh, you know, you can make it. The problem is, is that a lot of people that do this, they... They second guess themselves too much. And I mean look at me. I'm what what the what am I doing right now? Oh my god. Oh back whale! Oh back whale! Like what am I doing right now? You know, I'm like I'm I'm fishing in a game that like mil like millions of people have played this. Like did Jack Septicai posted a, a series on this that got like, I don't know. 2 million views of video or something. And you guys are here watching me play this? How did I do it? Well, it's because I don't suck at this. <laughs> okay, yeah, we get an aberration here. Yeah, congealed rat tail. The flesh of this deep dweller has turned into a thick ooze, secreting an oily gel that covers its entire body. Gross, man. Okay, we really need to get this last fish, though. It's driving me crazy. But yeah, you know, can anyone make a living doing this? No. You kind of have to have... You have to have the charisma for it, but it, it's, it ain't that deep at the same time, you know? You don't have to... You don't have to be these like TikTok guys who are like, what's up guys? Blah, 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 blah. You know, you don't have to be like that about it. Just like, uh, it, it's, it's kind of like music, you know? Like, how many people do you know with like weird taste in music where they're just like, check out my friend's band. And then you go see them and you're like, this band sucks. But your friend is sitting there just like, hell yeah, this is the shit, you know? You know, so you don't have to be Taylor Swift to get people to listen to your music, right? You can just be some shitty local band. What? I thought this rock randomly appeared. The rocks randomly appeared. It's confirmed. I remember running into this rock a few videos ago and being like, "What? how long was that there? What the hell? This confirms it. Okay, that's just there to trip you up. That annoys me. I mean, I'll take it. I'll roll with the punches, but damn. That, yeah, that annoys me. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, before we go any further, let me just double check. Uh, cause this is, this is the last one. Oh, wait. Open ocean. Here we go. Nope. I messed up. Okay. This thing, where the hell is this thing? This is the last one, this is the only one I haven't caught. It's nighttime only. Oh, for some reason I thought it was daytime only. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and sleep then. Sorry about that. Actually. Oh. <gasps> There we go. I got an achievement. Research all engines. Hell yeah. You know what else we can do? We can buy this shit right here. Okay, cause like, oh, okay, so check it out. So this is 16KN for two slots, right? So average of eight per slot. This is six for 72, so average of 12 per slot, right? So, okay, I'm gonna prepare. So, these things, though, to jet drive engines are, oh, to jet drive in, they're 10 per one slot, okay? So while this one is 12 per slot, and this one is about 11 per slot, 
The rest of them are like less efficient than that, like 8.5 per slot. This one's really bad, like it's like 5.5 per slot. Um, so the best thing for us to do to get maximum speed is we get four of these jet drive engines. We get one, two, three, four. And then that's how you can achieve like the, the highest possible boat speed. There's a little hot tip for ya. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, what am I doing right now? Back to what I was saying. Like I'm posting, I'm posting stuff that like these guys that get nominated for streamer awards and stuff, you know, like Ludwig wouldn't be caught dead having a channel like this. XQC wouldn't get caught dead having a channel like this. Well, actually, well, you know, XQC might, but you know what I mean? Like those guys that are like obsessed with like numbers and they're obsessed with like, oh, this is how everything must be optimized and, and monetized and everything has to be perfect and everything's got to be topical and relevant and, but you don't have to do things like that to make stuff. I wanted to make a gaming channel where I just posted games and I did it and you know what? I, I like barely announced it and there's thousands of people watching it. Leeching prawn. This tiny parasite rafts away the flesh of whatever it attaches to. Its hooked legs ensure an enduring grip. Damn. Crazy, man. Damn, that's crazy. Anyway. Stop it. Ah. Oh. Can I turn these things off, man? I've got a question. If I... Because I haven't been using the spyglass, right? Mostly because... Oh, right. No, don't do it. It's like... It's just hard to find stuff. It's so, like, zoomed in and everything. I was just seeing if I could find... I really wish that we had... Better lights, though. Finding stuff in the open ocean at night is so hard. I can't even find a fishing spot. Is this one right here? No. Damn. So yeah, all that to say, you know, you can do whatever you want. And it can work if you do it right. But you gotta, you gotta be passionate about it. You have to have some charisma and the content has to be high quality. Those are like, those are like the three things. And, and it's like, it's like pick two, you know? Cause some people don't have all three, but they've got the other two. And that's the big uh, difference. The main thing that most of them have is charisma. But you, you can make do without that if the content's high quality and if you're interested. Even if you're not interesting. Okay, uh, let's go out at night again. I can't believe I can not, I'm not finding this one. At this point, I think I'm gonna look it up. Oop. Where is it? Number 61. Because I've caught these rat tails. Okay, I'm gonna look up where they are. If there's like a, a particular region I'm supposed to be at. Dredge. 61 location. It's in the region of I plus J three plus four. Oh. I plus J three plus four? Really? So I'm so I'm I was never gonna find it over here. 
I, J, three, four. Oh, so like over here. Oh, okay. No, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, so we can go to the west. I'm really at this point, we have no crab aberrations right now. I've had these pots out here and they haven't caught anything. What? Okay, now, now I know where to go though. So we should be able to wrap up this section of the video. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, you know, this is the type of thing I used to talk about on my ill-fated podcast, Influenza. Influenza was something I did three episodes of and, oh, a trophy. I basically just talked about like the industry and stuff and gave my thoughts on it. And I'd like to come back to it at some point, but I just can't. I don't really have the capacity for it right now. I think I want to do a video version of the podcast, and I already have a video podcast going on. Spine chill, so. Okay. I plus J, three and four. Okay, that's 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 where I am right now. Okay, now we just gotta find. Oh, what? Okay, that's a barrel eye. You know, we need an aberration anyway. <laughs> so might as well catch him. Wow, there's a ton of these, huh? Oh my god. Okay. Damn, we gotta deal with this guy. Maybe I'll dock at the photographer and like go out at like 5 p.m. Because technically, I think they're out at night around that time. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, you know, oh, this isn't the photographer. This is a campsite. Oh yeah, I've already looked here. Okay. Nice. For some reason, I thought the photographer was here. I'll wait until it turns five, and then I'll bring out the spyglass, and we'll catch this thing red-handed. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. Ghost shark is over there. Can I like, oh my gosh. Ghost shark, dredge, barrel eye, loose jaw. Wait, what? what's that? Oh, fang tooth. Red snapper. Barracuda. Is this a crab right here? What do you do with the rock slab? Four large, powerful fish. I mean... What happens? No? Okay. Not large and powerful enough for you, huh? Wait. No. Okay. I was like, do I need to put the four rare fish here? No, they wouldn't fit. No, no, they're too big. Okay. Oh my god. That was like... Well, I can't go get those. Do I have to put, put four trophies here? I would think so, right? Let's look it up. We look it up. There's, um, 
My daughter loves watching Sesame Street. Which is great. Of all the shows for her to be interested in, I'm like, Sesame Street? Sure. Um, but there's... There's this really annoying segment that happens called Elmo's Wonderful World. Elmo's Wonderful World! And that's how he sings it. And every time they have like a topic, like something they want to learn about. Ramps! We want to learn about ramps! And then he has like a co-star. Usually, I think it's Rosita or something's Cookie Monster. Anyway, they come on and he's like, What do we do when I know something? We look it up! And I'm like, how, how, I mean, do these kids really need to be looking stuff up on their phone like that? I mean, I guess they are anyway, right? Okay. Takes one of each shark in the game, except the frilled shark. So you can get, so you can give it hammerhead shark, bronze whaler, black tip shark, and ghost shark. And gives... The Viscera Crane? What the hell is that? Wait, there's four of these? Because I I've, I've found them... I found them around. I just didn't know. Oh, You can get stuff? Like, like, exclusive items? Yeah, you can get, like... Um... Yeah, like rods and stuff like that. That's crazy. This one seems like this one seems like the hardest one to do. There's 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 one of the marrows that takes five cod. Uh, but this one you have to do four different sharks. And there's another one that takes any aberrant fish. Oh my gosh. So you got you gotta hit it with the you gotta hit it you gotta hit with the gritty. Okay. Didn't I see like a ghost shark somewhere? Well anyway. Okay, let's Let's break the spyglass out. I hate to do it. Loose jaw. Oh! That's... Is it due east? Oh, 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 oh. This is it! Ah! Oh. The moonfish! I got an achievement! Master angler, catch all known species of fish. We did it, we caught them all! Brilliant glittering scales gives this fish its name. Uniquely, it's the only known warm-blooded fish. Is that a real thing? Did you make that up? We look it up. Did you make that up? Because a lot of the fish that they have in this are, are real. It, a warm-blooded fish? No way. Okay, moonfish are real. I knew that, but... Um... Okay, okay. It's... It's not... It's not warm-blooded. But it's not entirely cold-blooded, from what I'm reading. Yeah. Lampras gutatamus... Or gutatus was discovered to have near whole body endothermy in which the entire core of the body is maintained at around 5 degrees Celsius above the surrounding water. This is unique among fish as most fish are entirely cold-blooded or are capable of warming only some parts of their body. So that's... That's one specific species. Um... Interesting. Okay. That is cool. A war So like... I mean, I guess, you know, technically it's not entirely warm-blooded, but, but basically it is warm-blooded. That's cool. That's really neat. Hey, guess what? I'm... I'm out of here. Oh, boy. Okay. I can't believe that took me so long. Elmo's wonderful world. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I can't catch this? It's in shallow water. 
Okay, so we've caught all the fish. This is so exciting. Uh, sell all my fish. Thanks. Hey, you got, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get another one of these. There we go. We're over 100k in now. Um, yeah. Can we talk to the lighthouse keeper? What is it? Oh! Interesting, you don't get anything. Okay, let's go over here and... Oh my god. I still... It still doesn't have it. It still doesn't have the aberration. I've got plus 3% aberration though. And I had it here for like a week straight. Are you kidding me? To be fair, I'm kind of trying to like rush it at the end of the game. Like... Complex crab pot. Oh. A better and stronger. Be more reliable at catching creatures. I mean, the reinforced crab pot is the best one. Aberration bonus plus 8% too. That's really good. And we're not catching the aberrations? Are you serious? Are you kidding me right now? Anyway. Um, well... What do you guys think? Should I just like... Oh. I'm more like an hour 16 into this. Should we just go ahead and do it? At, on part 9? Ah, what the heck. One thing that I don't understand. What is this for? This is really bugging me. I haven't found anything for it. But then again, there's some stuff in the game I haven't done still, like... I found that, that shrine where you have to put four sharks. I haven't done that. Um... You know, maybe that's something for... What I'm like... 100%ing or something. But, uh... Yeah, interesting. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. What is it? Tell me more about that book of yours. Oh! Which book? This one here? With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of histories of the Great Isles. It's quite a chore. Don't play dumb, you know which book I mean. Play dumb? Your hypocrisy is wearying. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Go ahead, ask us. Where'd you get it? Sparkling dust motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So was she. Oh, so it's, it's... Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. You take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forwards in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. Whoa, I didn't know we could do this. It's a mirror. You're pathetic. The Book of the Deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages, and now you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber. We can undo everything. Undo what you did. Okay, so we can we can keep talking to the collector, but we're not going to give them the relic. Oh, I've got the relic in storage. Oh, okay. I was I was just going to give it to him, but okay, this is cool too. 
The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? <sighs> the book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its power towards you. Oh, no, I don't care about that. I don't understand. Who are you? I am what was fractured from you on that day you dredged the depths. I am what could be. I am your breathless self. You mentioned saving someone. Yes, she will rise from the deep. The book describes it. We almost have all the pieces. Just one more. So if I have the book... Can I... Maybe I can bring it to the, um, the lighthouse keeper. Since I have it. Even though, strangely, it's not my inventory. <sighs> I have the book. Cool. You've had this whole time, have you not? Does it matter? Make the most of this window of lucidity. Now is the time to act. Do you still remember where it happened? In that gloomy darkness behind the bay. When you are ready, I'll point the way. I'm ready, yeah. Warning, you are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point onward. Do you wish to continue? Oh, okay, so my progress won't be saved. So I can come back. I can come back and still fish. One more time. Your progress will not be saved from this point onward. Okay, wait. You know, for something that's giving me two warnings, you think they could be... Uh, and they're like, just to be super clear here, but you're not being clear. Your progress will not be saved. Right, so I assume what that means is that whatever I experience from this point onward, it won't save it. And I'll be able to continue from before this point. Just fishing and whatever. But I'm afraid that it means... <laughs> that after this, I'll have to start a new game. Oh my gosh. We look it up. Okay. Uh, dredge... Point of no return. I just need to clarify what it means. Passing the point of no return puts you extremely close to the end of the game. The idea of it not saving after that part is so you can reload from before that point of no return later. Oh, okay, they just scared me. They're just like, one more time. Okay, yeah. We must wait until night is thickest. Until the ocean is as it was all those years ago. Waiting for the right time. Yeah, I guess, I, you know what? I guess we're ending it now. It's time. I'll point the way. Follow my light. Mm -hmm. Go and do what's right for her. Throw it back. Oh, we're going to throw it back, all right. Follow your light. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, God. So we're like Frodo going to Mount Doom. Hey, we're still ca we're still trawling. Wow, it's way out there, huh? Oh, okay, so it, yeah, it's out here into like the, the biggest part of the ocean where there's nothing. You know what? It's distracting to have this open, so. Yeah, we're bringing the, the net inside. This is the place. Throw it back. The book struggles in your grasp, its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. You hold it high above your head. A low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. You throw it into the foaming water. I got an achievement, too. What 
Oh. That's the thing that killed me at the end edge of the world. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's like the end. I thought there was gonna be like a whole sequence or something, like a boss fight or... But no, you just, you just die. Huh. You know, it makes me wonder if maybe I can reload it and give the collector the final relic instead. Hmm. And then I can give my thoughts on the game. And then part 10 can be the stream. Let's do it. Okay, I hate to cut the credits short, but we'll, we'll be seeing them again. Okay, let's take... Let's see what happens when we give... Give him the relic. Even though, like, we have the book and everything. I assume we can still do it. <clears throat> we climb the broken steps to the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Deliver the relic. <sighs> he approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. Its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move it forwards. You place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. We will see her again soon. It will all be worth it. You know this. I know. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. I'm ready. Warning, 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 warning. Yeah, the relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Now, our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters. Not with such a significant cargo. Make haste! His shape disappears from the mirror. A chill rises in your body as you turn to leave. The Collector is with you. Woo. To the west. Well, that's anticlimactic. Good thing the engine didn't take damage. Okay, so where am I going? Oh, I'm going to the same spot. We're making haste, dude. We're really fast. I wonder if that Godzilla thing's gonna eat us again or no. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us, and where we can at last bring her back. Only here, and only because of what we've achieved. You open the book. Its pages are frosted with ice, and a chill mist rises around your fingers. You begin to read aloud. To release a lost one, frozen in time. You throw the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, you throw the necklace. Bind them to this world once more. Open the door to the starry heavens. And lay the weary world to rest.
Oh wow, there she is. Oh my god. We awakened Cthulhu. <laughs> I kind of like that ending better. Than just getting swallowed up by Godzilla. We awakened Cthulhu. Everybody dies. A great plan, Collector. Okay, I don't like this part of it. Look, the lighthouse destroyed. Okay. Well, um, so I think I got both possible endings. Unless there's a third, I can't think. It's like either side with the collector or side with the lighthouse keeper. I think. I mean, there might be a third ending. I just don't know how you would get it. The third ending is you continue to fish until... Um, the, de the heat death of the universe. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's get into my thoughts on Dredge. I actually got a lot to say about it. I really enjoyed it. I love the Stardew Valley with a Lovecraft twist fishing simulator that it is. Um, I liked exploring the map and all the different areas and zones. They had each, they each had like their own unique character to them. Uh, probably my favorite area was actually the, the grove, the twisted, twisted shroud or tw twisted strand. Yeah, that was my favorite. Followed by Gale Cliffs, followed by Stellar Basin, followed by Devil's Spine. I didn't really like Devil's Spine that much. Um, navigating your boat through the little areas, just eh. You know, I didn't dislike it, but it was my least favorite. Well, the, the Marrows, I guess, is also an area, and it's a great starting area, so... I think, um, you know, this is an indie game, obviously, and it's very well-crafted. Uh, I love the art style, the music, the overall atmosphere. It's very cool. I think I wish that the world was a little more lived in. Like, it feels like there's a lot of secrets that you can find, like... When you're searching for the old mayor and finding all of his campsites. Um, and, you know, fi finding random NPCs like the castaway, for example, that I just discovered at the end. Uh, and just taking him to Little Marrow. Um, there's a lot of, like, little things like that, but there's... I just kind of... I find myself wishing that there were was more to it, I guess. That there was more of an area to explore. Because the, the total explorable area in terms of landmass is pretty small. But, uh, you know, you're in a boat on the open water and uh, traipsing around the open water in your boat fishing is, is most of the gameplay. I, what, what, uh, from that perspective, I do wish that the fishing was more of a challenge. Because once you initiate the fishing minigame, the, um, the currency is time not effort the basically when you initiate a fishing event you are guaranteed to catch the fish it's just how much time it's going to take and whether you can hit the skill checks that that decreases the amount of time that it takes uh which decreases you know your sanity progress and how late you're out and all that stuff so that's the motivation but other than that you know you just need to hit a and if you if you don't want to you can just not try for the skill checks and you'll just guaranteed catch the fish. And I think that I would rather have a fishing system more like Stardew Valley. Um, I think there, there's a happy medium between the two, between like some between like some challenge, which Stardew Valley fishing is not that hard in my opinion. You know, once you get your upgrades, once you get like the iridium rod and you get the proper attachments to it. Um, like, I use the one that makes the, the bar a little wider. And you, know, you figure out how to do it. It's 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 challenging, but it's not super frustrating. And I think that there's a heavy balance between that and, and this, where there's, you know, if you want, there's no challenge to fishing other than finding them. I like the Pokedex. I like the, the fact that there's, you know, so many different fish to find. And some of them, most of them are, like, unique to certain areas. I think that's great. Um... 
I'm not really motivated to find the aberrations, even though they are cool. It's kind of like Pokemon and Shinies. You know, I played, I played like a lot of the Pokemon games, most of the ones up until uh, Sword and Shield, I think. I played Sword and Shield. I like Sword and Shield, actually. A lot of people hate on that game, but I thought it was really cool, actually. Best Pokemon game since, like, Gold and Silver, in my opinion. In my wrong opinion. Uh, but one thing I've never been motivated to do, and I've, I've, I've complete, I completed the, uh, the red and blue Pokedex. I completed the Gold and Silver Pokedex. Um, way back when I was a child, you know, so I got really into it. But I've never been motivated to get shinies in Pokemon. I just don't care. I don't want to get a green Charizard, you know. Uh, I just want to get a regular Charizard. So, hunting down all the aberrations doesn't, like, super appeal to me. I'll probably still do it just because the game's fun and it sounds like a good chill stream idea. But uh, I kind of wish that there were more fish variations or, like, I don't know. I just kind of wish that there was more of a hunt for, like, the, the regular fish and that there was more of a challenge for it. But at the same time, there is something to be said for this is just a chill game where you hang out and fish. Haha, -ha, what a wholesome time, right? Uh, wholesome until you get hunted down by by the angler fish posing as a ghost ship or, or whatever else out there that's lurking in the deep. Um, the sandy mechanic I found to be kind of annoying after a while in that respect. I kind of just like if you're going to have the fishing have the fishing minigame have no challenge to it and for it to be time then I, I would prefer the minigame to have challenge over uh having to manage your time so you don't get insane so you have to go back to the dock and rest you know um i hate having to constantly come back to the dock and rest i was really bad about it at the beginning i thought you had to like be in bed by midnight every night i didn't realize that you could go out and and still do stuff in the middle of the night but you know even with that i don't know i'm just like it's like, ah, oh, I really like the game, but I just, what, what stops it from being like an incredible game and just being like a very good game for me is some stuff just wasn't pushed as far as I would have liked it. Um, you know, just, I guess nitpicks, but yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, but yeah, very good game overall. Very good. I think I saw some. There was some DLC or something. I haven't talked about it yet. But I might. I might check that out. We'll see. Um, Pale Reach, I believe. Might look into that. I think there was another one, but it was like you just got. There was another piece of DLC, but you just got some like items. You got like two items or something. And I was like, well, why would I do that? Ah. <laughs> uh, it was it like two items that like made fishing easier or made or like an engine that made your boat faster. I'd rather just do like the regular grind than pay five bucks for uh, an advantage. But uh, yeah, Dredge, very good game. I think it's a, you know, like I said early in the playthrough, it's a little more Stardew Valley than it is Amnesia. And I like both of those games. But I kind of think it could have done with a little more frustration in terms of like the challenge and a little less frustration in terms of like the time management and stuff. Um, the endings too, like I kind of think that the gameplay, like making your boat really fast, they could have pushed something with like some kind of sea monster boss fight or something. Uh, you know, where you're dodging. You have a little bit of that, like Devil's Spine, a little bit of like stealth gameplay and like you know, using the, the magma vents to to deter the fish. It, you could have something like that where, like, you would take, get attacked by a sea monster and, and you have to, like, bob and weave, you know, through the waves. I just feel like there's a lot of ideas that I'm like, ooh, they could have done this, ooh, they could have done that, and they're not in the game. And I understand it's a small indie team and that they have, you know, limited manpower, and this game's great for what it is. But it's it's sort of thing that makes me think about like Dredge 2, you know, like this game has been selling really well. So what about Dredge 2? Is that gonna be bigger and better? I almost it's almost the type of thing where I'm like, what if there was like a random, randomly generated world? It seems like there was a bit of that with that rock this episode that I was like, that rock was not there before. They're randomly generating the rocks, you know. Um Yeah. Anyway, I I for some reason, I thought I had more to say. I think there's something that a piece of feedback that I have that I'm just 
forgetting about at the moment and I can't remember what it is but uh you know if you think about it I'll put it in the comments I guess all right um yeah I might do like a hundred percent dredge fishing stream at some point and I'll put it on YouTube god don't tell me I have to leave YouTube for it I'll see Sorry, I'll stop being a dick. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I don't know what I'm playing after Dredge. I know we're also playing Baldur's Gate 3 right now, and I assume by the time this is posted, Lethal Company is still going on, or at least something like it. Uh, Spine Chill Podcast, but I'll be playing some other short game in addition to that. I don't know what it is yet. I will have to figure that out. Let me look, actually. I've got... I've got like a list of um, of games. Let's see. Uh, I mentioned this in my uh, gamer plans vlog that I uploaded a couple months ago, but let's see by the time this is posted, you know, we might be looking at Brothers of Tale of Two Sons remake is coming up at the end of February. Um, I need to play Hades before Hades 2 and Hellblade before Hellblade 2. So those are two, I think, shorter playthroughs that I could do. They're not long. They're not long like Baldur's Gate 3, so they could fit in. Um, I could also do Subnautica, Outer Wilds, uh, Return of the Oberdeen, Stray, Dave the Diver. A lot of people have been asking about that with this one. Um... Yeah, Life is Strange, True Colors, Homebody, Dead Signal, Hollow Cocoon. There's that Buckshot Roulette game. Uh, there's a lot of options, though, but I will i haven't decided yet. I think at the end of uh, the last playthrough that I did, I said it was like, Dredge is next, and I wish I could do that for you right now, but I don't know yet. It will be determined, but I'll be coming in a couple days. So, all right, see you then. Think critically.